Hi there. My name is Robert McCarthy, and I'm here to share with you this neat little percussion instrument that I brought with me. It's called the cajita. The cajita originates from Peru, and aside from being a pretty neat percussion instrument, it also serves as a testament to the musician's ingenuity and creativity. And we'll talk about that now. So the cajita originates from the country of Peru. Peru is a small country on the west side of South America. Um, when the Spanish came around the mid-1500s to colonize, they brought with them African persons to work on their plantations. And the Africans brought with them a rich tradition of music because it was and remains today an integral part of their culture. Uh, the Spanish heard this, and at the time they were converting the native peoples to Catholicism. And so this African music was something along the lines of sacrilegious for them. So what they did instead was they banned African music and traditional African instruments. Obviously, traditional Spanish music and church hymnals were circulating readily. Uh, Spanish instruments like the guitar were circulating, but African music and instruments were not. But this did not deter them. What they did instead was they found everyday objects, things that would easily be looked over, things that made a great sound, and they made music with those instruments. So this is where we get instruments like the cajon today. Cajon is Spanish for the word box. And that's just what it was. Some say that they took uh, shipping crates from the dock. Some say that they took drawer shelves and turned them on their side and played it that way. Whatever the case may be, they just found objects and just made music with those objects. And the cajon is such a simple idea and has such a great sound that it prevails in a lot of music today. This is a modern version of the cajon. Cajita has a similar history. Cajita is Spanish for little box, and there's some speculation as to where it originates, but most people say it derives from the box that they would use in church to collect the offering. So at the end of the day, when the box was empty, they would bring it home and make beautiful music with it. So to play the cajita, it's quite simple. You take the string, you wrap it around your neck like that, so the box hangs in front of your midsection. Uh, take whichever hand, doesn't matter, uh, hold the stick, uh, s traditional players will hold it like this, but you'll also see contemporary players hold it like this, similar to a boron style, if you're familiar with that. The other hand grabs the handle on the lid, and from there you're ready to go. It's as simple as hitting the box with the stick, opening and closing the lid for that tone, or getting different sounds by combining the two. I think the cajita is a great instrument with innumerable possibilities. Uh, you get a lot of different sounds out of it. It's lightweight and easy to carry around, and it's really a hit with students, especially the young ones. What I like about it is that it's made out of simple materials, and it's proof that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get that sound that you're looking for in whatever musical situation you're in. So I hope what it does is it gets you thinking about the in instruments you have at home and the objects that are around you in a new musical sense, and to think of easier and inexpensive alternatives to getting that sound that you're looking for. 